Um, thank you for coming through, Fetch Army. Clear afternoon. Thank you for coming through, guys. Um, yeah, man. Today we're gonna talk. We are going to talk. Edward, thank you for coming through. I see you. I see you. I see you. Um, all the new people, welcome to the Fetch Army, guys. Let's double tap the screen. Get to a thousand likes so that we can um start with the topic of the day. I uh, changed my lunch to 2 p.m. Thank you, Wanarefilo. You are very smart. Very, very, very clever. Hi, Lisa. Very smart, Wanarefilo, so that you can join us. Okti is here. Our captain is here. Hi, Okti. Thank you for coming through. Guys, Um, yeah, we're going to talk today, guys. We're going to talk today. Um, Guys, remember, we are the Fetch Army. We are fetching job promotions. We are fetching success. We are rushing the doors of corporate. We don't feel sorry for ourselves. We don't have excuses. We are getting what is ours, right? We don't live on hope. Rapsteak, thank you for coming through. Hey, Rapsteak, we had a, we had a session yesterday with Rapsteak. Uh, she came through for her um, LinkedIn profile review. Guys, if you want to book your, your sessions, one-on-one -on -one session for your um, LinkedIn profile, go to kerayempoream.co.za, okay? If you want to book your career strategy session, kerayempoream.co.za, all right? That's where you book everything. Go on to YouTube, guys. Look for Kerea Emporium if you want to catch up on the previous masterclasses, right? Masterclasses are every day, 14 o'clock. Make sure that you follow me in order to be able to um, catch the masterclasses. And then um, LinkedIn, go on to LinkedIn, guys. I need you guys on LinkedIn, okay? I need you guys on LinkedIn. Go follow the Kerea Emporium page on LinkedIn, okay? Actually, I'm going to start inboxing you guys on LinkedIn when I communicate with you guys so that I can keep you on LinkedIn, right you guys know linkedin is the beginning of everything so just make sure that your linkedin profile is sorted so thank you for a thousand likes guys um yeah today i'm gonna be talking to you guys about why some of you guys are stuck in your careers right so for those who are new guys we are shooting for executive positions that's what we're doing as the fetch army our end goal is to become executives in corporate Okay, so whether you are in an entry-level position, you are in a management position, junior management, middle management, doesn't matter, right? We are building a foundation that's actually going to take you to become an executive, and we come up with practical solutions. We don't wish it, or pray about it, or hope it, and do nothing. We are active. Okay, so guys, go to kerempuram.co.za. There's a blog there. There is Fifi Dramatic, the Kim Kardashian of the Fetch Army. Literally, she just booked her session about 30 minutes ago for her LinkedIn, right? So we're going to hook her up. Her LinkedIn profile is going to be fine. So guys, let's get into the topic of the day. Today, I want us to take responsibility. The reason why we are stuck is because we are not taking responsibility. Thank you, Batobile, um, the, the, the chief queen lieutenant moderator thank you now i want us to take responsibility right today and that's why we need to have this conversation so i want to speak to you guys about three myths that might be preventing you from growing your career okay three myths and we're gonna take responsibility today so the first one is that my time will come my time to become an executive will come my time to become a manager will come right my time is coming right managing director of moderation that's batobile exactly she's the md right of, of 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 the fetch army here so a lot of people are saying my time will come so that means when you are looking at people that have made it to executive positions right hi christopher thank you for coming through captain when you look at people that have made it, made it to executive positions you always say their time came and my time will come too. The fact of the matter is your time might not come. You might work forever as an administrator and retire as an administrator. Show me. Thank you for coming through. You get what I'm saying? So your time might not come. There is no such thing as my time will come. It's not the time that you spend in the workplace that gets you into an executive position. It's what you do during that time. So if you're sitting here today and you're saying, ah, my time will come. Let me just go about my life and then we'll see what happens. That is not going to help you. You make moves. Guys, you make moves. If you want your time to come, you don't wait for your time to come. You fetch your time. 
right? Tobegila, hi. Thank you for coming through. Now, I don't even think um ending up there before I started connecting with you. I know, Refile. I know, Mrs. Ne, right? That's because a lot of people don't think about this. It's like, my time will come. It will happen for me when it happens, right? Uh, the universe will open up its doors. Uh-uh. Uh-uh-uh. We're not going to do that. So we need to make those moves, right? And I've given you guys a whole lot of tips. Guys, if you missed the tips, go to Kerem Poriam, go to the blog, right? Or go to the previous masterclasses. We've spoken about improving your thought leadership. We've spoken about improving your qualities. We've spoken, spoken about personal development. We've spoken about free courses, right? We've spoken about getting into the company and checking all of the processes and suggesting changes. We've spoken about networking, right? We've spoken about being active on LinkedIn. That is how you fetch your time to become an executive. But if you think it's the time that you spend in the workplace or the time that you spend as a qualified person that's going to get you into an executive, uh, 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 your time might not come. How many people do you know where you work who are old, right? And they still haven't reached the executive position. There's a lot of them. Because they waited for their time to come. The time will never come. You fetch the time by implementing practical steps on how to get there. When I became an executive at 35, a lot of people said to me, it's because it's your time. I was like, you are undermining me right now. You guys don't remember when I was putting in the work. You don't remember when I was going to conferences. You don't remember when I was connecting with people on LinkedIn. You don't remember the time when I was putting my content out there in order to be discovered by other people and get myself into an executive position. I didn't sit and wait for my time. You fetch your time. We are the fetch army. Everything we fetch. So guys, if you think your time will come and then you're sitting back, you're relaxing. I'm telling you this right now. This is bad news for you. Then your time might not come. It might not come right? Uh, it took those people 30 years to get there because they waited for their time. I'm telling you, Edward, some people don't even get there. The one company that I worked for, they used to have the certificates on the wall, right? Thank you so much, Batobile, for the June. Really appreciate you, right? They used to have certificates of service on the wall. 15 years working for this company, administration position. 15 years working for this company, officer position, assistant position, 30 years on the wall. And I'm the guy who came in and within a short space of time, I was already their executive. People that have been there for a long time. And that's because I didn't sit and wait and focus on operations. Right? The TED talk I needed. Makosazan, I hope you're following and welcome to the Fetch Army. Right? So your time may not come. And you guys have seen these people. So what I'm telling you is something you don't know. I'm not telling you something you don't know. You've watched them. Same position, 20 years, 30 years. You remember, guys, when we do the farewell parties and we're doing a farewell party of a 40-year-old administrator. You've seen them. You know them. They waited for their time. Guys, you fetch your time. You fetch it. You improve yourself. You improve your thinking. You improve your interview skills as well, right? Because you need to start nailing your interviews. So there's a lot that you need to put through. There's a lot of work that you need to do. Sitting and hoping on time. Guys, there is no such thing as your time is coming. I'm, 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 I'm sorry, especially when it comes to your career development. If you check Sim Chabalala, who's the CEO of Standard Bank, how do you think Sim Chabalala got there? You think he waited for his turn. He stood in line. With the Fetch Army, we don't stand in line. We skip the line. We skip the line. And we fetch what we need to fetch. They even brag about how long they've been doing that job. I'm telling you. And I'm like, it's nothing to brag about. You've missed out on so much. Your kids are going to be your boss. My 2000 are going to be your boss. They're going to be giving you instructions. That's what happens when you wait for your time. Your time might not come. Right? Today, long service announcement came out with someone who was service consultant for 20 years. I mean, come on now. Long service award, working for 20 years and still an administrator. Come on now. Hey, Fifi, I'm telling you guys. So your time may not come if you keep waiting. You Guys, you need to make moves. You need to hustle your way up. Connect. Network. Make sure you are closer to the executives. Do what needs to be done. 
your time will not come. Careers, they don't work like that. You don't wait your turn and sit and hope for the best. That is not how it works. Right. So that's the first myth that I want you guys to really think about. If you are sitting right now and you're waiting for your time. True, they don't stay long in call center job. You understand? Don't confuse longevity with progress. I'm telling you, you are not a tree. Fetch your time. You see, guys, this is our famous term in the fetch army. You are not a tree. You must move. Is becoming executive the goal? Yes, men. Becoming an executive is a goal, right? I always make the example. When you start grade one, isn't the, the goal to get to... I, I guess it's a great. How can I sub A? Isn't the goal to end up costing at five? Right? How to grade eight? Isn't the goal to end up at grade 12? How it's a first year? Isn't the goal to graduate? So when you start at entry level position, why shouldn't the goal be to get to an executive position? Otherwise, you become what I call a career dropout. You drop out midway. You start relaxing because salary is not. Imnandi salary. Guys, no. Why Toma why fates are like X-Rib. You start, you have to finish it. But you can never finish it when you are waiting for your time. When you are waiting for your time, you can never get to where you need to be. Your time may not come. It may not come. So guys, the goal is to be an executive. That's what we are working towards. We all have the ability of being an executive. We all have the thinking. We are already building the experience to get there. So why not go all the way? Why not go all the way? You get what I'm saying? That's what I'm doing now, building meaningful relationships. Exactly, Lisa. We need to stop wasting time and carrying on with relationships that are not meaningful, that are not moving us forward. Where are you guys on LinkedIn? Are you participating? Are you connecting with executives? Right? That's how we need to think. Coach, now I'm angry at myself. 11 years, only one promotion while I was sitting and waiting for my time. And Rap Steak, yesterday when you came for your session, that's the conversation that we had, right? I like that you took ownership and you said, it's me. It's me. And you guys need to get to a point where you're saying, it's me. I've been sitting around. I've been relaxing. I've been waiting for my time. That is not going to work for you. Career dropout. If officially, edit, I'm telling you, Makosa Zana, that's what I call it. You are a career dropout. You're like a person who just left school in, in the middle. Don't be a career dropout, guys. You need to go all the way up. So if you're waiting for your time, I'm sorry. Some start with the entrepreneurial intent, then they lose that spirit along the way. I'm telling you, right? Guys, your focus, you need to be so plugged in. Yes, Gabelo, hashtag fetch army. We are fetching everything. Always puzzle me why people lose their corporate entrepreneurial intent. Guys, we want to be entrepreneurs. Accountability, yes. Yes, Norma, hi. Thank you for coming through. Norma booked her session. We're going to be working on her LinkedIn profile. I'm in a junior position, but I swear from now on, I'm going to Exco. That's what we're doing. We're going to Exco, guys. Why wouldn't you want to sit there? The money is good. You become influential, Right? You influence the industry, you influence policies. Why wouldn't you want to go there? That's my question. Why wouldn't you want to go towards something that is the highest level of success within your profession? Why wouldn't you want to be the captain of the industry? It's too much work, yes. But isn't that what life is? Or are you using life as a passage? Get born, work, pass away, that's it. No, we're skipping the line now. We are skipping the line now. What if you are too old? There's no such thing as too old. Mpo, the only old that I know is when you are 90. Because if you look at some of the executives in some of the large companies, go check their ages. Tell me how old those people are. The goal is not retirement. The goal is executive. I know people that are working in executives and I'm also working in, a, in an executive position now. And I'm telling you, my aim is to work in executive positions until I'm 80. I'm not going to play that game. Why retire? I still want to contribute to industry. I still want to sit in board positions. It's exciting. It's nice. It's fun. You understand? So that is the goal. That's what we are pushing for. And we need to wake up today. But if you're going to wait, it's not going to happen for you. If you're waiting in line, it's not going to happen for you. I'm Joshua and just paid for LinkedIn profile now. Oh, Joshua. There you go. Those are people that are serious, right? I'm going to send you an email. We're going to book your session. In an, in an attempt to encourage, let's be mindful of our comments. Some people are depressed already. Black Queen, I'm not sure what comment you saw, um, but we never depress people here. We are the Fetch Army. We are a community of people that are supportive towards each other. 
right? It's been a while. I'm now full time on my company and I would like to book a session. Posh Spice, come through, book your session. I know we spoke long time ago. Kabanga Opechwari, I'm the administrator for 20 years. Come on now. Come on now. I get happy because they are age learner. You understand what I'm saying? So there's no such thing as too old, guys. My interview skills, I need to work on that. 11 years on one position. Come on now. Go to kerempuram.co.za and also go look at the blog articles and see how you can. I've got an article about how to improve your interview skills in two steps. Go check it out. Right? We're fetching senior roles. Yes, PK. You understand? How much is LinkedIn profile? 199. It's 199. I need a source of income. K more. Um, we can have a conversation about that. Right. But guys, we are going there. We are going there. We are fetching big positions. We're not going to feel sorry for ourselves. Guys, that's one thing we're not going to do. We're not going to feel sorry for ourselves. We're not going to have pity parties. We're not going to sit and do nothing and not take accountability for it and blame everything else outside. We are not trees. We can move. We can make those moves. Right. So that is the first one. And guys, for those who are here for the first time, I might sound like I'm harsh, but I think my people understand because we are the Fetch Army. And that's the mentality that we are applying. We are playing an army mindset to go out there and fetch what we want. Right? We are not here for hugs and whatnot. Because I want the Fetch Army to be better than everybody else who's out there. No pity party. It's a jungle out there, Lisa. You understand? 11 years in customer care, long service award. Woo, BK, come through, come book your session. We need to move. What are people really pur pur uh, purchasing on LinkedIn? Miss Mamaja, you're not purchasing things on LinkedIn. You are networking. That's what you're doing on LinkedIn. You're not buying anything. You are networking with executives. You are networking with senior managers. You are networking with people that can advance your career status. That's what we're doing on LinkedIn. We are not buying. We are not selling. We are there to connect with people. All right. And that's what we need to do. Yes, we're all depressed. That is a space of accountability. Exactly. We need to move. Don't apologize if you want an executive position. You need to be able to take constructive feedback. 100%. Guys, we are the Fetch Army. The reason why I'm always tough on you guys and I'm telling you the truth is because I want you guys to leave here and not be like everybody else who is out there. Oh, I had something about 199. No, 199, you buying my services to help you sort out your LinkedIn profile. That's that's what the 199 is, right? We're here to exactly. Guys, we are not going to feel sorry for ourselves. That we are not going to do. We're going to fetch. You guys are a group of people that are the next leadership. You are the next leadership in this country in corporate. That's why I want you to get to executive positions. Right? So that's what we're going to do. The second one, guys, is that I was not born to be an executive. And I'm telling you, with work, anyone can become an executive. I did it at age 35. I did it at age 35. So don't sit and say, I'm not born for it. Are there people that are selected for these things? Mina, ah, you know, it's not make sure and all of that. No, 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 no. We're gathered here from Monday to Friday, 2 to 3 p.m. Yes, no, we are, right? So guys, don't sit and say, I was not born for it. There, there, was, there wasn't an executive in my family. So my family... It's just not people that are going to become executives. That's what some people tell me. No, go higher, vele. You know, we are good at admin, the administrator in my family. No, you are the first person who's going to break that chain. You are the first person then who's going to break that chain, right? And that's what I want you guys to do. Oh, yeah, no. Guys, come on now. Come on now. If you put in the work, what work am I talking about? Go check the previous master classes on YouTube. That's where we speak about the work that you need to put in. Go check out the blog on kerimporam.co.za. Right? There's a lot we can do to improve ourselves to get there. So don't tell me you're not born for it. All of us are not born for it. We are the Fetch Army. We are the first Fetch Army members in our families. Thank you very much. That's what you guys are going to be. It's going to start with me, go high, to be an exact. Thank you very much. So financial freedom is the biggest goal, right? There are many ways to get um, there outside of exec. No, it's financial freedom is not the bigger goal. The goal is executive. The goal is executive, man. Right? Finances will come with that. The goal is executive. We're looking for the highest. We want to be on top of the food chain and influence industries and influence people and employ people and become entrepreneurs and work for these big organizations and be responsible for a subsidiary and all of that. That is the goal. That's what we're working towards. 
right? I'm capable, I can get it done, but my English is not smart. Your English will improve. Go watch podcasts. Interact with people. Network with people. Follow the right people. Your English is going to improve. English is easy to learn, right? Wrong career choice. I know some people have wrong career choices, but we can pivot. We can fix it. There's something called career pivoting. Come for your one-on-one -on -one session. Let's pivot your career and get you there. Guys, anything you want to do, you can change. You can change the course of anything. And I'm not telling you about manifesting it and praying for it and whatnot. I always provide practical steps on how we can get there. That's why I call these things master classes. I don't call them TikTok lives. These are master classes on how we can get there. And thank you to everybody who's following, guys. If you're not following, make sure you follow so that you can become a part of the Fetch Army. The Fetch Army is a group of people that don't feel sorry for themselves and we are fetching executive positions. And we tell it like it is, right? I realized that my speech improved from doing random lives on TikTok. Thank you very much. There you go. Mrs. Sine, the more you talk to people, the more you interact with people, the more you do your TikTok lives, is the more you improve, guys. But you don't say it an improvement. It just comes to you. So the second myth, guys, is that I'm not born to be an executive. When I was born, Ko Mamilodi, 1984, you think already on my birth certificate, my parents have, they put, is going to be an executive, or home affairs or whoever, they said, this is the one who belongs in an executive position. These people don't belong in executive positions. No, that's not the case. You understand? That is not the case. I was not born for it, but I built myself towards it. LinkedIn, networking, improving myself, personal development, all of that kind of stuff. I did it myself. So you guys need to sit there and stop saying this thing of, no, I was not born for an executive position. You cannot do that, guys. You're going to sit in the same position until you retire. That is not what we're looking for. And like I said, guys, I don't care if you become an executive at 55 or 45 or whatever the case is. We're going to be executives until... If, if you become an executive once, you're going to sit on different boards. You're going to be board of director here. There are board of directors that are 70. So you are gone. You're not even thinking retirement. Don't get into the trap of working just for your kids. Your career journey is supposed to be fulfilling... Thank, thank you, Haleo. Your career journey is supposed to be fulfilling, guys. You need, you're need, you supposed to enjoy the hustle and the bustle and going for this position and moving around. Okariki Game of Thrones, you know? You need to enjoy all of that. That is what you need to do. For someone whose personality is not so vibrant, who's soft-spoken, how can I, one, improve? Tando, let me tell you something. One of the things that people don't tell you is that you don't have to be an extrovert in order to become a director. I've met directors that are introverts, right? But the thing is, when it's time for them to talk, they talk. And when they talk, they make sense. When it's time for them to write on LinkedIn, they push, right? When it's time for them to get in a company and assess processes and systems and change them in order to improve, they do that. So you don't need to be a talker. Talkers are just loud cans sometimes, right? That make an empty noise. Um, administrator holding an MBA degree. Khaleo, that's what I'm talking about, though. When I tell people that I used to have PhDs, MBAs who are older than me reporting to me. I mean, come on now. Come on now. Piling yourself up with qualifications is not going to help you if there's no personal development. If there's no putting yourself out there. If there's no getting involved in projects. If there's no finding a moment of glory. It's not going to help you. You can pile yourself up with as many certificates and qualifications as you want. And I'm not saying don't get qualifications. I'm just saying there needs to be a balance. There needs to be a balance where qualifications go with personal development. Because one thing that makes you a great director is your character, is your qualities, is your attributes on top of the qualifications. Right. I've always known that I want to make it to exec, but just never knew how to start. Welcome to the place. Welcome to the place, right? As someone asked me who's my role model, and I said, it's my future self. I'm an exec. Oof. That is fire right there. Boki, that is fire right there. Guys, you need to see yourself in those boardrooms. I love how can I go to the boardroom, guys. Guys, do you know how nice it is go exco? Do you know how nice it is go exco? And it's not even expensive to get go exco. You don't pay a lot of money to get into exco. You just improve yourself. You watch the right podcasts. You, you, you go to the YouTube channel. Go check my previous master classes. Go to the blog on kereaempoream.co.za. There's a lot of free information out there. It does not cost you money. You don't need a thousand PhDs. We've been directors got degrees since 2006. 
but it's our characters, it's how we think, it's how we are connected with the industry. So with a lot of work, anyone can become an executive, guys. Anyone can become an executive. Read. You understand? Connect with your sector, connect with your industry. Stop gossiping in the kitchen. Stop looking at who's dating HR, who's not dating HR. I ungena when. Right? When you get into the workplace, look at it as a learning institution and learn whatever you have. They've got computers and free internet for you there and they're still paying you. Why not improve yourself? You understand what I'm saying? So that's what I want you guys to do. So the second one is a myth as well. I was not born to be an executive. Man, come on. There's no such thing. Put in the work, you'll get there. You will get there. It doesn't matter where you're from. Right? Limpopo, Mami Lodi, Atridgeville, Soweto, Tembisa. It does not matter. We can all get there but it takes us standing up and putting in the work right let's speak about myth number three i still have time i still have time so people are sitting back and they're like let me give it five years before i start thinking about this executive thing thank you shumi let me take five years before i start thinking about this executive thing do you know what the problem is with it let me tell you where the danger is the danger is that in that five years while you are waiting to initiate, you know, your plan to start working towards an executive, technology changes. I need to know you are relaxed, you are doing the bare minimum. You are missing out on technology changing. You are missing out on regulations changing. You are missing out on industries changing. You are missing out on the global influence. So in five years, when you are now ready to have these conversations, you have five years of catching up then it's now even more difficult for you to become an executive. That's why, guys, you start today. When you leave this live, go check out the blog on kerempuram.co.za. Go to the link, uh, YouTube and go watch the previous masterclasses. Even book your one-on-one -on -one session so that we can start getting you there, right? It becomes difficult when you've been waiting for five years and living under a rock. Literally, you, you've been living under a rock. You're missing out news, missing out everything. That is not going to help you. You start now. On top of that, Matuke, Batagadi, artificial intelligence and everything like that and whatnot. They're taking over those positions. By the time you are ready, you are old and gray. You're old and gray and you, you don't even understand the latest technology within your sector. The latest statistics, the latest regulations. It becomes harder. So you think you have time. Let me tell you the bad news. You don't have time. You do not have time. Yes, you do have a lot of time before you get into executive because it might take you five or six years because there's a couple of things that you need to work on. But if you do not work on them, that five to six years becomes 50 years. How much are your one-on-ones? One-on-one session, 199 for a LinkedIn session, one hour on Zoom, or 450 for your entire career strategy, right? Um, business demands and trends change is going to be difficult to catch up. I'm telling you, business demands and trends change every day. Today, there's a regulation that's changing in your industry. There's a new bill that's being passed in parliament, right? There's a new influence from China that's coming into South Africa. There's something from Germany that's coming to South Africa. Guys, things are changing every day. When you're not reading industry news, you're not writing about industry news, you're not connected on LinkedIn with people that have industry news. So your interview content also becomes stale because your interview today is the same as the interview that you gave five years ago. That is not going to work. That is not going to work. So you need to start working on it now. You think you have time. Guys, you don't have time. Time flies. Remember just yesterday it was January. Check what's going on right now. Rugo June. Look back. Two quarters. Half of a year. What have you been implementing to move yourself towards a promotion? Or are you sitting demanding a promotion because you've been there for long enough? Doesn't work like that, guys. You make moves. How many people are competing for the same promotion that you're competing for? How many? <laughs> And how many are getting it? So, guys, we need to think differently. We need to change our mindset, right? Let's double tap the screen, guys. We're close to 15K likes. I really appreciate you guys. Thank you for all of the gifters. Okay, guys, just to reintroduce ourselves, we are the Fetch Army in this group. Follow my moderators, right? They are my captains. We are the Fetch Army, guys. And as the Fetch Army, we don't feel sorry for ourselves. We don't make excuses. We don't sit and live on hope. We understand that if we want to get into executive positions, we have to make moves. We have to make moves. Thank you, Mrs. Ne. Right? We have to make moves, guys. We have to navigate. 
So if you are not following, make sure that you follow. Guys, we also have a WhatsApp group. If you officially want to be part of the Fetch Army, go join the WhatsApp group. You can join it on kerimporium.co.za. If you struggle, just inbox me your number or any, any of my moderators. But Tobile is there, Okti is there, Nanali is there. They will assist you. Tando, you got to make boss moves. You got to make boss moves. You need to navigate, guys. You need to get into spaces. Right, You need to be able to see a group of executives sitting there and join them on their table. What are you scared of? What are you holding back from? I've been struggling to join the WhatsApp group. Fifi, send me your number and then I will add you. Send me your number, then I will add you. Guys, if you send me your numbers, I promise you, I won't be calling you and doing funny things. I'm married. Okay, So your numbers are safe. Ne? Guys, I won't do funny things. Send them through. Or oh, send to Nanali there. Yeah, if, if, if you don't trust men, um, send to Nanali or send to Batobile or send to Okti and then they will assist you, right? Um, but yeah, your, your numbers are safe, guys. Literally, they're going to add you to the WhatsApp group and then they're going to lose your number. They're not going to call you or anything like that. So guys, this is what we need to be doing. You understand what I'm saying? That you guys are going to be the most unique form of people because you guys are the fetch army. How can I join um, requirements? Clear, you just join the WhatsApp group. That's it. You just join the WhatsApp group, Jay. When I just, just, yeah, just click on join. Click. We don't, there's no interviews. There's nothing. Just join. And then only admins can post in the group. So you don't have to worry about 10,000 people sending messages, bashelana, go groupung and whatnot. It doesn't work like that. Only the admins can post. So it's me and the moderators that can post. And we will post something that is valuable. Oh, no, Mvula, don't put your number here. People are going to steal your number. Uh, you must inbox it. Right? So that's what's going to, to happen. Right? But guys, you guys are going to be the most unique people because you guys are, uh, yeah, not here, please. Yo, they're going to take your number, but I'll, but I'll share them. You understand? So that's, that's, you guys are going to be a unique group of people. So while everybody else at work is behaving nonchalant and relaxed, you guys are going to be the progressive ones. So that means you're going to beat everybody got job promotions because you, you're implementing practical steps. You're going to beat everybody. When you go for an interview, guys, you should see the people that, the Fetch Army people that have gone through the YouTube and the blogs and have come from for one-on-one -on -one sessions. All of them, when they give me feedback about how the interview went, they're like, dude, these people were so shocked at how level I am when it comes to my thinking. That's because I'm giving you guys a completely different path. I'm giving you guys a completely different path so that you are not like your everyday person. You are not like your everyday people. I want you guys to push. I want you guys to make moves. I want you guys to be the greats. You understand what I'm saying? I want you guys to be the top dogs of this thing. And I can't do that for you by hugging you. That is not going to happen. Right? All of my clients that I started with in 2021, that are still with me today... I always ask them, why do you keep coming back? And they're like, coach, that's because you don't hug us when. You don't hug us. You tell us straight how to take accountability. And they have grown, guys. They have grown. I mean, I'm so proud when I look at my people and all of them are like sitting in executive positions. You know, I was telling a very a very funny story um, the other time where this other lady, why this life is, I'm glad, I'm glad, Waka. I hope you're following. I'm glad. Yo, I need a life coach. No, no, I'm here. The best in Africa. That's what I call myself. But you know what? They don't know yet. You understand what I'm saying? But um, I remember this one lady. I, I did a couple of coaching sessions with her. I learned, uh, funny enough, her name is Refilwe. Gotta have too many Refilwe's in my life here, right? And then um, we worked on her on, on her thought leadership. We worked on her LinkedIn. We worked on, and then she started going to conferences because they loved her LinkedIn content and whatnot. One day she gets a, 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 an inbox from an HR manager from a top accounting firm because she's in the auditing space and they sent her a message and they said we are growing our executive team so we're looking for an executive she took a screenshot and said i coach i think i'm being scammed here i was like let me do background checks for you i researched and everything checked out and she couldn't understand like coach i was not ready for this to happen now i know you said um i'm going to be an executive one day but this thing is happening in a space of three months i said that's because you started putting in the efforts and all of the tips that i was giving you I mean, she sits in this position right now, and it's so nice, you know, because people look after you as well. She's been inviting me for speaking engagements at her organization. I've been getting clients and whatnot. But I mean, like, I and um, her brother came to me and said to me, I don't know what you did to my sister, but she's a completely different refill. 
the way she thinks, the way she talks, um, her being in executives like, dude, I don't know what you did, but fantastic job on this lady. And there's a lot of them, guys, right? There's a lot of, how do I get your life coaching services? Uh, no matter, I think, but totally they responded to you. Um, yeah, and then, yeah, the moderators will add you guys to the WhatsApp groups, all right? So, guys, let's double tap the screen. We're close to 20K, right? So, guys, these are the myths that I want, I want us to think about. I really want us to think about this, guys. No more sitting and waiting. We skip the line. No more sitting and waiting. That's how we move. The Fetch Army moves a different kind of way, guys. And if you are in this life, you are actually a Fetch Army. I'm telling Mr. Gift, it's, 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 it's one of the most beautiful stories, right? There's another one, Yonki. I'm going to invite Yonki because she's the only one I know that she's here on TikTok. Yonki, guys, I mean, her things were moving so fast. She called me and said, Coach, can I slow this process down now? She was moving from the JSE to another top organization, and I was moving with her. These are the people that I've been with. I mean, um, another lady, Bianca, right? Bianca is now the head of Africa for an IPP company, and then she's only 32. She's been my client since 2020. So, guys, people are fetching, people that are willing to, and a lot of people dropped out in the process. They were like, I hey, coach, you, you're too harsh. I said, I'll refer you to a colleague that hugs you. I'm, I'm more than happy to do that. If you want somebody who's going to sit with you and then accept your, your nonsense, right? Um, normal, connect with you on LinkedIn, actually, so that you guys can see Bianca. She's, 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 she's something else, you know. Um, I'm telling you, my clients are young people that are putting it in. So a lot of people that dropped out, I always refer them to somebody. If you want somebody who's going to be your cheerleader, that even when you're sitting back and relaxing, they're going to be like, I understand, I understand. I've got a lot of coaches in my network. I will send you through to them. But when you come to me as your coach, when you come to Career Emporium, you need to understand there's going to be a whole lot of truth that's going to, it's going to be said. If I don't say it to you, then we're not an army, right? Let's call ourselves a crutch. Yeah, we'll call ourselves the fetch preschool then. And then we will hug each other and then share the stock sweets, a little lollipop and whatnot. But we are the fetch army here, guys. We need to be tactical. We need to understand that it's a jungle out there in the corporate world. It's a jungle out there. And you need to take things seriously. You need to take things seriously and you need to make moves. You understand? That's what we need to do, guys. We need to push all of us. The Fetch Kindergarten. Exactly. You know, if, if even Batobi is laughing, then we'll call ourselves the Fetch Kindergarten. Then I'll come here and tell you that, no, it's okay. You can sit back and relax. No, it's okay. Listen here. Um, you don't have to be an executive and whatnot. The world needs you, guys. Some of you guys are so smart. I'm 33 and feeling like I've wasted a lot of time because of comfort. Comfort kills dreams. Comfort does kill dreams. But these, the good news is, 33, you're still within the youth bracket. You are still within the youth bracket. It's in row number 39. You understand? So you can still make those moves. You still need to make those moves, right? People, no growth whatsoever. I've been in the same position for 10 And people complain. I've been in the same position for 10 years. I'm not getting this. And they come up with conspiracy theories, right? Yeah, the reason why I'm not getting promotions in 10 years is because I didn't slaughter a goat. Let's come back. Let's think about it. Let's be let's be open and honest. Thank you, Khaleo. Welcome to the Fetch Army, right? Let's be open and honest. In the last 10 years, have you been pushing yourself or you've been working under the radar? Because, guys, I tell you this all the time. If you are very operational, you're going to stay in an operational position. You need to start thinking strategically. But if you are operational, you're going to stay in an operational position. It's as simple as that. Rather be horrible when it comes to your admin, but brilliant when it comes to strategy. And then you'll start moving up. And then you'll start moving up, right? Um, the fact that we keep coming back shows that we know you're telling us the truth. Thank you, Edward. Thank you, Edward. You know, you are always here. Yo, but coach, at 35, an executive, that's inspiring. You're turning 40 next year and you don't... I didn't drop out. Fifi, I did not drop out. Even today as we speak... I felt that I I'm by foot, right? And Fifi, I'm still going, right? I'm still sitting in four board positions, two non-executive director positions, and a one directorship position on freelance. I'm gonna be doing this until I'm 80. I don't care. I'm not here to retire, right? So guys, don't drop out. Go all the way. Go check one of the one of the lives that I I I I, I did. Now go check it out on YouTube where I'm saying all of you guys can be executive positions. You are already building the experience. You are already building the experience. If 
if if a position requires you, imagine you didn't wait for 65 pension. I, Fifi, I'm not, you know what? If the word if pension is not even on my mind. Guys, we move. We move. I now run three businesses and I serve on executive positions here and there. When, yesterday, they called me for another trustee position. I said, I'll take it. As long as you are paying, I'll take it. You understand? Guys, we need to push. I'm telling you, guys, nizo katala. Nizo katala, guys. I'm telling you, guys. We need to take responsibilities and we need to move. It's one of the most fulfilling things you can ever do for yourself. It, nothing saddens me like somebody who just takes any job that comes their way because they're saying, And I'm like, your life is not supposed to be like this. You can still but still making big moves. You are pushing us, my coach. I'm pushing everybody. I want to be an influential strategist and decision maker. That's what we're going for. Kim Kardashian of the Fetch Army, Fifi Dramatic. That's what we're going for. So it saddens me when people are like, yeah, I says that Tatum seven Zomunya no munya because says seven zelinga ni ish why is a rebelaba narita zang. Guys, you can do both. Because for you to start pushing for executive positions, it does not mean you quit your current job. And then you don't have an income. It means while you are in your current job, you do some extra things to get you there. Actually, you're doing it for your kids as well. Because once you get into executive positions, it's easy to take them to send Stithians, what, 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 what. So whenever, you, you, you know, you, you, not atamato, you're just working, Jay. Guys, it's the saddest life ever. Ever. Coach, you're at a position now where you choose what you want to do. That's power. That's what I'm, I call career freedom, Fifi. That's what I call career freedom. I have qualifications and experience, but no interviews. Bakata, you will find that the way you do your job applications is not correct. That's another thing, guys. A lot of people that are here, moderators, have heard me say this 20 times. They're probably tired of it. Some of your job applications, guys, are wrong because you're doing it while you are rushing or you're doing it while you are still angry. You don't relax and take your time. You are certifying the wrong things. You are attaching the wrong documents. I'm telling you. Coach, I saw myself applying for a position of executive associate. Was not even going to open it. You see now, Rapsteak, I'm glad you came here yesterday. Before I met you in your energy. Yeah, yesterday. Thank you, Rapsteak. Yesterday, we had a frank conversation. Rapsteak will tell you how these things go. People that have been in my coaching session, they'll tell you how these things go. It's not laughing all the time. Yeah, we, we, we do Popeye stuff now and then. But it's, it's, I'm telling you, it's, it's, it's crucial conversations that I will have with you. Because we need to talk, Right. I don't want job people. I want career people. Imagine Saturday, Sunday, holidays at work. Very sad. Let's, I mean, guys, it's so, guys, imagine you are not fulfilled. You are, you, you are waking up at eight. You're coming back at four. You go to sleep. Tomorrow is the same thing, right? And the weekend is short. The weekend is shorter than some of yours tempers and relationships. That's how, the, how that's how short the weekend is. And then you are back at it. Have you seen people at 65 who have retired and they look so broken? They look so broken. For me, it's the saddest thing. Right, I was laughing looking at the Fisco Saint What What. I'm telling you, Saint What What Huatura, it's expensive there. I took a trip to Cape Town with my wife not too long ago. Well, I think now it's long ago, it's about two months, a month, somewhere there. And we were sitting at one of those restaurants and we were looking at guys, it, it, it's during the week, got 12 o'clock, and you see old people sitting there having conversations. You're looking at them, they look so fresh, and I'm like, you know, ne. Babe, these people lived a good life. These people lived a wonderful career life. They don't look broken. And then when you look on the side, there's another group of people that you can see who corporate about trapile because giddy long service certificates, get administrator position for 16 years and all of that. Wababo and Jay, they were just working and working and waiting for retirement. And when retirement came, you can tell it wasn't even enough. They are worried now. You have to do additional things. When you are a director, guys, we sit in board positions until we are 90. 
We sit in board positions until we are 90 years old and we get paid board fees and executive directorship fees. It doesn't stop. When you get to that point, when I hit 35 and became an executive director, I knew my life was set. I don't even worry how much is saved up, how much is not saved up, how much is... People still want me. Yesterday, I said in another Zoom meeting, dude, they're trying to convince me. I was like, I don't like your company, so I'm not going to be a director there, but give me another week or so. You understand? I just came in. So what's... um. What's the plan, coach? Um, setting aside motivation. Mazulu, if you want to know what the plan is, go to the previous master classes where we have all the practical steps of what you need to do to become an executive director. That's what that's what you need to do. Or go to kerempuram.co.za, go check out the blog articles. We've got steps, practical steps, how to improve your thought leadership, how to improve your interview skills, how to improve your career map, how to build your career map. We've got all the practical steps here. Right? So go there. Retirement is an illusion. I'm telling you, it's an illusion. That's why Bo Mama Barona Bahudi late 60 because they were admin for 20 years. I'm telling you, it's tough. People are broken. Broken, broken, broken. Right? People are broken, guys. But we need to make moves. We need to make moves, guys. We need to get where we need to get. We need to improve our skills, improve your thought leadership, improve your thinking, improve your characters, improve your responsibilities, right? Go out there, check the process in the company and change them and then go to a presentation. Show people that you are ready for that next level and do this on a weekly basis. On a week, when you plan your Sunday, plan your Sundays around your goal of becoming an executive. That is what you need to do. Plan your goals around becoming becoming an executive. Guys, we are the Fetch Army. We don't feel sorry for ourselves here. We don't do that here. We do what needs to be done. We implement practical steps. We don't live on hope. Right? So I'm going to run through these three, three, three things again. The first one is, my time will come. What I can tell you is that your time might not come. If you are not making the practical moves, your time might not come. That is an issue that you're going to face. Right. Number two, I was not born to be an executive. Mm -mm. Uh, uh, uh. Put in the work and then you can become an executive as well. Put in the work. How do you find the work that you need to put in? Go to kerempuram.co.za, go read the blog. Go to YouTube, go check previous master classes. You will know what practical steps you need to implement. And guys, while you're on YouTube, please like and then subscribe as well there. Right. That's what you need to do. And guys, if you're not following me, follow me so that you can officially be part of the Fetch Army, right? And then the third one is that I still have time. Guys, this one saddens me. This one saddens me. Because by the time you realize that you don't have time, it's too late. You can't turn back the hands of time. It's too late. I don't want you guys to realize these things when you are 70 and say, I should have done better. The people that are now at age 33, 34, right? Even 40 that are saying, man, I'm so mad at myself. I could have done something. I would rather you pick it up now than you pick it up when the energy is gone. When the energy is gone. That to me is the saddest one. So be careful of number three, guys. I still have time. I right now, you know, I groove, I go to the emoticon, I don't get those rights, I don't get girls night out, I don't get boys night out. I, I'll think about these things in future. You know how many people are busy making moves while you're sitting and saying, I'm waiting for time. You know how many people are making moves. People that are making moves, you don't see them. The same person who's sitting next to you on your desk. Same person sitting next to you on your desk is making moves. Is making moves. You understand? What can you say for someone that's 59 and living their career as senior manager unhappy? Whew. That is heavy. That is heavy for me because at that age, you will find that they don't even want to give you opportunities. They don't want to give you opportunities. So you have to work 10 times harder. LinkedIn is your best spot. Go showcase your skills. Yesterday, we spoke about that. Showcasing your skills on LinkedIn, improving your thought leadership, right? I didn't upload that masterclass yet. I'm going to upload them today. I know I've been promising, right? But you're going to have to do that. You're going to have to really go big. You need a moment of glory, like a serious moment of glory. Uh, what's the YouTube link? Um, just go on YouTube and search Career Emporium, right? You see the name on top there, on top of this image that's here, Career Emporium. Just go to YouTube, check. You'll see that logo is going to come up. I'm listening. Hopefully, I'm going to browse through the web and YouTube. Do that shady shadrex. 
do that. Do that, right? We've got everything there that's going to get you there. Um, Coach, your take on international posts and executive posts. I love them. I love them. So, guys, please go check out um, LinkedIn groups in your sector, right? So, for example, if you're in the accounting space, just go search accounting and then put the filter on groups and join those groups. You will see you're going to get into groups that have about 128,000 people. It's accountants from all over the world. People are sleeping on LinkedIn groups. That's the best place for you to network. That's where you make proper friends. Because if you meet somebody there, they like your content, you like their content. So now all of a sudden is boom. You can connect outside of LinkedIn, right? Then now you can start speaking to international people and understand the international space. People are sleeping on LinkedIn groups. Join your LinkedIn groups, guys. It's very critical. Join your LinkedIn groups. Uh, sorry, meant that they were unhappy with their career, would you advise them to start something else? Yes, there's something called career pivoting, right? I pivoted my career. I was not always a coach. I was an executive in the small business development sector. And I pivoted it at some point because I was like, man, I'm born for this coaching thing. Let's go. After speaking to a number of people and you understand, so there's something called career pivoting. Book your one-on-one -on -one session. Let's go through it. It's a very long process, right? But it shows you how you can use your old skills and repurpose them for something new and add two, three qualifications, Nyana, to close your skills gap. You are in the new industry and new sector. Just like that. Just like that. It is a 12-month to 18-month process, but there's a lot that can happen. Uh, what you're sharing with us is gold that many keep to themselves. Thank you so much. That's what I wanted to do, Makosazan. You understand? I wanted to share with you things that are not in the textbook. LinkedIn has content. Umuntu Lele. <laughs> Mr. Vuga. Mr. Vuga. There's content on LinkedIn. A lot of content. A lot of content on LinkedIn. There are people that want to connect with you. There are people that are looking for you on LinkedIn while you guys are not there. You know, so guys, um, that's the masterclass for today. Um, thank you for tapping the screen. 26k likes, we did it, guys. Um, you know, if you are not following me, make sure that you follow me. I've got resources for you guys. Go to kerryemporium.co.za, go read the blog, right? And then go to Kerry Emporium uh YouTube channel and then go there and make sure things are happening. In the meantime, guys, please type on the screen hashtag fetch army. Fifi has started the train. So I need everybody in the comments to follow Fifi and just type hashtag fetch army in the comments that means you are committing to doing these things and going into an executive position in the meantime i'm going to give you guys shout outs don't leave the live as you are typing hashtag fetch army and using this time to follow me but Ile, our queen moderator thank you so much i appreciate you mrs ne revza thank you for coming through i really really appreciate you you must tell us about your interview horror stories when i uh, when i refill you you must do a live we will join nana lee my friend thank you for coming through i really appreciate you thank you for the gifts as well shumi thank you for coming through uh haleo thank you for coming through fifi dramatic the kim kardashian you and i will set up your session uh lisa i see you thank you for engaging edward thank you for engaging katide i see you tabile muloya i see you Mr. Gift, my boy, I see you. Amanda M, thank you for coming through. Joshua, babe, thank you. Joshua, babe, thank you for coming through and thank you for booking your session. I just got the email now. Thank you for coming through. Flex Percy, I see you. Tando, I see you. Um, Mapoma L, I see you. Waka She, I see you. Nolundi, I see you. J Rhodes, I see you. Ogusha, I see you. Tazi, I see you. Rap Steak. It was great chatting to you yesterday. I see you. Charmaine, thank you for coming through. I really appreciate you. Lisa23, I see you. Theo D, I see you. User871, please get your name right so that I can give you a proper shout out. Okti, my captain. I see you. Okti, don't forget to tell me when we're moving your session to. Mpo M Projects, thank you for coming through. Nomvula Dube, I see you. Shady Shadrex, I see you. Uh, Miss T, I see you. Vuga, Miss T. Go, go get content there. You know, Gaisha, I see you. Just being label, I see you. Mama Tumi, I see you. Prudence Baloyi, thank you for coming through. I see you. Matthew, I see you. Mazulu, I see you. Mazulu, practical steps. Go check them. YouTube and the blog. Um, Then you will know what we need to do. Mahosi, thank you for coming through. Lau, thank you for coming through. Zintle, thank you for coming through. TK, I see you. User 44, please change your name so that we can give you a proper shout out. Prueberry, my friend, I see you. B, I see you. Uh, Princess Tuli, I see you. Fresh, thank you for coming through no boy i see you toby my friend i see you thank you for coming through no mpumelelo i see you litimela i see you karma i see you karen peterson i see you kilebukhila i see you kwanza zion i see you ntlantla i see you nf 
NFC, BC, I see you, Simpi, I see you, Poki, thank you so much for participating, I see you, uh, Bonwa Yinkosi, I see you, Naima, I see you, Mamambali, I see you, DG777, I see you, Sitkolile, I see you, Starlight August, I see you, Kutwa, No, I see you, Rameleng, I see you, Kitumete, I see you, Pindile Samu, I see you, Mpo, I see you, Theo, I see you. Kona, I see you. Sandy, I see you. And Owami, I see you. Guys, thank you so much for coming through. I appreciate you guys more than you can imagine. And I want you guys to remember something. Wherever you go, wherever you are, you guys are the Fetch Army. Thank you so much. Wait, I'm going to wait for 30k likes. And then we can get there. 30k likes is going to be nice. Uh, no problem at all, Haleo. No problem at all. I really appreciate you guys for coming through. Yes, Nanali, I'm going to wait for 30k likes and then I'm going to drop off. But guys, come through tomorrow. 14 o'clock, we are there. We're doing master classes. Call your friends, tell them to come through. Guys, we are a group, group of professionals. We are called the Fetch Army. We Im implement practical steps on how to get where we need to get. And also, we don't make excuses. 30K likes, done, guys. Thank you so much. Please enjoy the rest of your day. Sasa ngu 2 o'clock. Swagalani. I will see you guys. Sharp, sharp. Wait, but we'll be sending some roses there. One, two rows there. Uh, I don't want to shut people off. Thank you. Okay. And even Faith is sending a rose there. Okay, guys, now I got to go. Cool stuff. Thank you, guys. Uh, show me sending a high bar. But we do. <laughs> even show me sending there. Okay, guys, I have to go now, but I don't want to cut you off. Um, Thank you, guys. I really appreciate you. Nzonbo, Naksasa, 2 o'clock. Sharp, sharp, guys. Take care.